Hello, everyone. My name is Kevin Chappell, and I'm from the UALR UAMS Joint Bioinformatics Program through the University of Arkansas. I work in Dr. Stephanie Byram's lab, and today I'll be talking to you about PTM Biz, a tool for analyzing and visualizing histone post translational modification data. Histone post translational modifications play an important role in our genome by regulating the structure of chromatin, therefore, contributing to the regulation of gene and protein expression within our cells. Given the importance in any genetic system, irregularities in histone PTMs can lead to a variety of different diseases, including various forms of cancer. As researchers aim to learn more about histone PTMs and their role in any given system, they will inevitably produce large data sets that will require fast and detailed analysis and graphical figures to, for publication purposes. To meet this demand, the PTM Viz tool was created to provide a quick and detailed analysis for histone PTM data sets. The tool will provide a user with the information such as the overall structure of their data, the significant proteins within their samples, and the global view of histone PTM levels within the sample with the inclusion of interactive data tables and graphs to help the user to quickly navigate their data and quickly find the answers that they're looking for. This tool was created in the Shiny dashboard, in Shiny dashboard which is a graphical user interface through the R programming language. Up here is a flow chart of all of the different features the tool provides, which can also be summarized down here. One side of the tool has protein analysis, which includes things like the volcano plots that has an interactive filter that you can pull out all of the significant proteins, as well as proteins connected to the WRAM database. These are specifically modification proteins for individual organisms. And below, there's a filter that can be set for statistical significance, and it'll show you all of the proteins that fall within that in a heat map format. This can be conceptually integrated with the histone PTM analysis that shows the global PTM levels throughout your samples. This is shown through a stacked bar chart here on the right. Here you can quickly compare and contrast different control versus treatments or samples in, the, in and of themselves for the different levels of individual modifications on each histone. Below that, we have a heat map that shows the significance of these modifications and can be quickly analyzed through visual means to come up with answers you might be interested in. Now quickly, we're gonna go through an actual review of the tool itself. This is the PTM Viz tool. You start by uploading your data. Here you can choose any file from your computer and it will display it on the right so you know that you're grabbing the right information. And below, you can actually alter some of the labels in your data so that it better fits perhaps a model for creating pictures or even just so that it's not as confusing to read because things like reporter intensity corrected zero versus one isn't very descriptive. Therefore, you can relabel it to tell it that you're using a sample such as nucleus accumbens, what replicate it is, whether it was a treatment sample or a control, and then a custom ID that will be used for different um, graphs. Next, there's a preliminary analysis tab for your protein. This shows the general data structure for your data set, whether you have normal data, if everything matches up with box plots, or if there's a significant batch effect through principal component analysis. Finally, we have what we've already been over a little bit with the protein analysis page here, where you have an actual, a few tables that show different types of proteins and where they fall, as well as raw data as well. The interactive volcano plot that allows you to specifically choose which proteins you're interested in on the graph, as well as a heat map that does the same thing. And through the PTM side, there's the same input feature that then goes into another interactive chart here. 
as well as our stacked bar chart where you can choose the individual histone you want to analyze, whether you, you want to have both control and treatment within the sample and the exact residue location. So if you want to filter out any that maybe aren't useful. Finally, you have the statistical analysis such as the full change p-value as well as your beta value slash m values over to the side for independent analysis. And everything within the tool can be downloaded and viewed separately if individual analysis needs to be done. In conclusion, the PTM Viz tool was made for fast and efficient use of your time when analyzing Histone post-translational modification data, it accepts multiple different file formats as inputs, such as things from Epic Profile and Skyline. Lima was used for most of its statistical analysis. And you can use the QR code up here if you'd like to read about it more. Thank you very much for your time.